Greetings, and you're watching Septum Sin vs. the World. I'm Septum Sin, and today we are going to talk about Brave Ten. We're moving out of the Naruto, and we're moving into the... Okay. So, as you can see, this is a nice set. Uh, NIS puts out these sets. Uh, if you like them, I'll try and leave a link to NIS America's website. You can also get them through rightstuff.com. They did a sale, and uh, this premium set was on sale for 14 bucks. Now it's like 40 bucks, so it was a very good deal. I mean, it's a 12-episode series, and it is very much worth checking out. So if you haven't checked out NIS America, you definitely should. Quality work, quality games, if you like anime, you'll like and uh, you'll like NIS America. So, let's talk about what this series is about. So what we have here is sort of a seven samurai kind of ripoff with you've got these 10 ninjas and the basis of it is wrapped around this equilibrium effect. I am not sure where to go from there. Uh, the main character is sort of, I'm just coming off of Naruto, but it reminds me of basically if Sasuke was the main character. Uh, and he's wandering around being all like uh, uh, angsty and stuff. And you know, he's killed people because you know, he's a an angsty uh, ninja warrior. And then he runs into this girl who's in trouble. And then he instantly regrets saving her because now she's attached at his, attached to him by the hip throughout the rest of the series. Well, they go in the protection of a small-time lord who is gathering up these braves. And these braves are individuals with special powers, like there's one with an ice power, one with a water power, one with a light power. And they all band together in order to form a stronger group and to protect the girl who hides within her some great power that other ninja lords are looking for. So let's talk about what's good about this. I actually really thought that the fights were well done. The animation was decent and it has an interesting you know, catchy little ender theme. I mean I, I can't really diss it on that. But um, other than that, uh, there are there is some interest that develops in the story overall. I think there is a depth to this and a potential to this that is much greater than it would appear on the surface. I need to check out and see if there's a manga adaptation of this because it would be interesting to just sit down and read this and to get to know a little bit better and get to understand it and see where people are going with this. And the reason I say that is where it goes to the the bad part. See, I might not read the manga because I really didn't find it overall that great. I didn't find the characters that intriguing. Following basically Sasuke as your main character doesn't really help you that much. I wasn't really um, all that happy with that. And then... In the end, I felt like it was much too short. I mean, 12 episodes really was not enough. I felt like when we're building upon this sort of thing, and we are moving one episode after the other, by the time you get to the end, you're just barely introduced to all the characters. You barely get an idea as to who they are, how they interact, what relationships they have. So when the things happen that happen at the end, you, you kind of don't care, and that doesn't help. And plus, it felt rushed. And those are two things that should not be the case. I was actually sadly underwhelmed. But when looking at this as a whole, the product, I would say, would garner about a 6 out of 10. I mean, good packaging, decent quality, and an okay action story for the price, if you get it for what I got it for. $40? Not so much. So, 
any case I will put a link down below where you can get this but again six out of ten I hope you've enjoyed this review if you like our video uh, please click like and of course subscribe and share and well I'll see you on the next